Let's start with that big reshuffling in the House, something that Politico is calling, quote, sacrificing Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney at the altar of Donald Trump. NBC's Casey Hunt following all the developments on Capitol Hill. And uh, she got a question in to Cheney after her ouster. NBC's Shannon Petty piece is at the White House. I also want to bring in Doug Hyde. Doug was chief of staff, deputy chief of staff for uh, former House Republican Majority Leader Eric Cantor. He was also communications director uh, for the Republican National Committee. Casey, let me start with you because uh, we are uh, now learning some new details on Elise Stefanik, who's angling for Liz Cheney's now former role. What more can you tell us about her uh, presumptive replacement? Yes, she hasn't wasted much time, Craig, Elise Stefanik, just a few moments after this voice vote. Uh, unfolded, announcing uh, she was going to run to replace her. That was a bit of a foregone conclusion, although Elise Stefanik has a more moderate record than Liz Cheney does, and she does have a little bit of work to do with some conservatives who want to be reassured that she's going to stick with them on potentially tough votes and not uh, buck the party line, because Stefanik really has uh, sort of had a, an evolution from someone who was part of a swing district who used to work for Paul Ryan uh, in, in the GOP establishment uh, to someone who now is uh, an incredibly loyal uh, Donald Trump foot soldier, essentially. And that's uh, been her pitch to the conference. Now, Liz Cheney, of course, uh, ousted for her insistence that she was not going to stay quiet. She was not going to stop talking about the dangers around the lies that the former president tells about the election and who won the election, uh, things that led ultimately to an insurrection here uh, at this building behind me, the death of a police officer in the course uh, of that day, and of course, many more injuries. So when I had a chance uh, to speak with her uh, briefly as she spoke to reporters after she was ousted by voice vote, uh, I asked her, and in, in, in talking to people who are close to her, it's clear that she is thinking about what comes next in 2024. As much as Kevin McCarthy is thinking about midterms being speaker in 2022, she's looking farther down. And I asked her uh, what she would do, how far she would go to prevent former President Trump from ever holding office again. Here's what she said. I uh, will do uh, everything I can to ensure uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. We have seen the danger uh, that he continues to provoke with his language. Uh, we have seen his lack of commitment and dedication to the Constitution. Uh, and I think it's very important that we make sure whomever we elect is somebody who will be faithful to the Constitution. Wow. Pretty uh, significant words there, uh, Craig. And of course, uh, as our viewers uh, may know, if they've been watching for the past few minutes, our own Savannah Guthrie tweeted that she just sat down uh, with Liz Cheney exclusively in the wake of this vote. So uh, I expect that we're going to be hearing uh, much more uh, from the Congresswoman about what's happened here and, and what's next for her, Craig. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.